Hello friends, have you struggled? Have you struggled to lose weight? Have you struggled to keep the weight off? Have you tried every program there is? Have you joined gyms? Have you tracked your calorie? Have you deprived yourself? And yet, at the end of the day, the end of the year, you've put on more weight. Do you put the majority of your weight in your belly or your chest? Are you over the age of 40, 50, or 60, and it just feels like weight loss has completely stalled? Well, friends, if you are new to my channel, I am Casey Ann Reynolds, and I would love, love for you guys to subscribe because I am creating an eight-step program that is going to solve your problems. And it's an amazing thing because it's gonna restore your health while helping you to burn that belly fat. And the nice little side benefit that you get is gonna make you look 20 years younger. I'm actually going to be 57 this year and that has been the most miraculous part of my eight step program is it totally made my wrinkles completely go away. So that always makes me super happy. But I believe in this program. It's very well proven by scientific research. So in the eight step program, you do need to watch my first video that's going to introduce it. And then also in the description box below, there's gonna be the research and a downloadable PDF. Please friends, put any comments. I do answer my comments promptly. Send me an email. I am, I am taking some clients, just a few, because I'm still a full-time teacher. My goal is for you to share this video. Share this video because it could save someone's life. Because when you embark upon my eight-step program, and particularly step number one, you actually are gonna reduce your chance of getting cancer by 72%. You're also gonna reduce your chance of, you can actually reverse your diabetes too. I'm not gonna say reduce, you can actually reverse it so you don't need to take your medication. But of course, friends, before we even say stop taking medication, you should always consult your doctor first before embarking upon any sort of wellness plan. And you can show your doctor my PDF, and so obviously it's all backed up with the research and your doctor knows that research. But anyhow, what is this amazing diet that can do all this and also reduce your rate of Alzheimer's, arthritis, inflammation, and irritable bowel syndrome? This is the green Mediterranean lifestyle. Now I did start off on my six year journey doing keto when I was simply unable to lose any weight. I was miserable, I was depressed, I was divorced, raising three teenagers in East Tennessee on the backside of a mountain. I mean, getting chased by a coyote was a regular occurrence where I lived. It was not fun and it wasn't fun driving up and down mountains and dealing with the fog and being a full-time school teacher and it was just a lot. A lot going on in my life but i was training for a half marathon i was running three miles a day i was running six seven eight nine miles on the weekend i was doing all the little diet foods the yogurt the little 100 calorie snacks and eating so much high carb sugary food and guess what i looked awful so much belly fat losing my hair if anybody was watching my videos that knows me at that time, I would break out in horrible rashes, was horribly embarrassing, like welts all over my chest. It, it was just a mess. And I realized in desperation, I had to change my diet. So I went with the keto diet, but since I'm Italian, <laughs> since I'm Italian, I made it Mediterranean. So I've always been doing Mediterranean keto. I just like the fact it's really getting a lot of publicity right now. So it's basically, I'm just you know giving you the short version and the longer versions in that PDF. It is Mediterranean, which is the best scientifically proven lifestyle. Remember, we never want to use that word diet because diet means deprived. Diet means something you don't want to do. This is a lifestyle. This is something you don't have cheat meals because you don't need a cheat meal because the food's good. You just, you get to eat yummy, delicious food every day. There's no need to cheat. But the traditional Mediterranean diet is heavy on breads and pasta, which I'm going to have some more videos. So again, make sure you're doing subscribe, notification bell so you get those upcoming videos of the dangers of gluten. I am a prime example. If y'all have ever taught elementary or middle school or been around those kiddos, they mm, they just they tell you like it is. They're like, Miss Reynolds, you look pregnant. I pretty much heard that every day. 
And I know a lot of my teacher friends hear that because <laughs> yeah, you wear these big glossy shirts and you got some, but anyhow, that was a gluten belly. And I know I've had friends and family that have done a week or two without gluten and they go, oh, I don't have that sensitivity. We all have that sensitivity. Gluten is toxic to our systems. So anyhow, my Mediterranean is completely gluten-free. I've actually found an amazing chickpea pasta at all these. It is low carbs. Just recently, I you know just put on 10 pounds, stress, not going to the gym, yada, 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 eating too much carbs, even though they're healthy carbs like squash, but this is a low carb diet. This is less than 100 carbs a day. Now that would include, you could probably eat some of that chickpea pasta, um, certainly you could eat some gluten-free crackers and stuff because I usually do eat that or some tortilla chips with my favorite little salsa. But this Mediterranean, this green Mediterranean, is the word says green. <laughs> green so instead of focusing upon the breads and lentils and beans like we typically see with that little pyramid it's going to be focusing on instead of the bottom of the pyramid healthy you know vegetables so that's basically a vegetable that grows grows above ground berries are fine nuts are fine dairy in moderation of course this is not a this is not a carnivore diet but it is not a vegan or vegetarian diet. So you really could not combine those types of diets because you would not get the nutrition that you need. So you're just going to be eating eggs on a daily basis, salmon at least on a weekly basis. I will eat a lot of chicken breast, lean meats. I'll eat some grass fed meat. So I try to get a hundred grams. So just kind of remember that a hundred grams of protein a day and less than a hundred grams of carbs. So basically, you can eat any the yum, delish food in those categories, okay? So we said dairy, meat, vegetables, and just berries. You don't want to eat like apples and bananas, get too much sugar, too high on that glycemic load, because this is a diabetic diet. Now, what's the kicker, friends? What is it? What can I eat? Oopsie, you might not be happy with this part. You cannot eat processed food. No, processed food's killing you. Okay, look around, friends. Did you know that during pandemic, the obesity rate for children went up by 60%? This is a health crisis. If you can adopt this diet and get rid of your processed food and stop going out to eat so much, and you'd have a lot more money, learn how to cook. I do have a food blog, caseysketo.com, and lots of recipes on there. It's, it's no ads, it's super easy to use, and you can print the recipes or look on your phone. Cook, I mean, I do food prep. I don't spend a lot of money. I go to Aldi. Processed food is toxic. It's killing you. Processed food. Processed food has chemicals in it that make you fat and make you crave it. It releases dopamine that makes you addicted to it. More addictive than heroin in that little rat. They do that little rat experiment. It's proven that. So it is the processed food. So absolutely no processed food on this diet. I mean, I'm not a stickler. I eat some tortilla chips. I do look for foods that have the least amount of ingredients and try to do organic as much as possible. But you know, no processed food. I do eat out. I have no problem eating out whatsoever. I eat out Mexican. I can eat pretty much any restaurant, get a hamburger and side salad. So, you know, that's really easy peasy. Um, no sugar, <laughs> no processed food, no sugar, and no gluten. So. The whole meal plans will be, you know, I'll be releasing them like, what do I eat in a day? So you definitely want to hit subscribe, get that notification bell so I can kind of show you the meals I rotate through. But before I do that, and I know you're going to be so excited to start this plan because if it's the beginning of the year or you just want to make a complete change in your health. So once you start this lifestyle, I'm going to give you just a couple tips and then I'd like you to watch my next video at the very end talking about intermittent fasting. It's cold turkey, friends. Cold turkey. You can't just stop doing heroin and still do a little bit. No, you need to take a big old trash bag. Don't even donate this food to the food pantries because this food isn't suitable for raccoons. Don't throw it outside for the raccoons either. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just Doritos, Takis, junk food. That's just, it's just not good for anybody. You can make healthy snacks. Yes. It's, it does involve a little bit more prep work. Children need to get off of their social media and start cooking again. Kids have no basic life skills. So involve the family, make some healthy snacks. You know, even if you're just making homemade cookies as a family, I know it's got the sugar in there, but still it's not full of the chemicals. So when you buy a bag of cookies, it is full of chemicals that actually will make you fat. 
there's chemicals in the cookies that make you fat. Sneaky the way the food companies do that. But, and there's the research below in the, in the description box. So yes, just clean, get some big old garbage bags, don't donate it to anybody, and just throw it away. <laughs> That's the first thing you're gonna do. The second thing you're gonna do is get a little schedule, and I think food prep Sunday or Saturday, whichever works best for you. You might need some containers, and I'll be like just saying, there's other people that do food prep videos, or just keep hitting that notification bell because I will be releasing them soon. I just kind of go through about six, I keep my meals easy peasy. I fasting, which you're gonna click on that video, and I just eat a salad or soup, and then I do eat a snack, snack options, lots of snack options, I'll be going over those, and I eat dinner. So my dinner's just protein and vegetables. Um, I just rotate three meals. Chili, bolognese sauce, grilled chicken, salmon, pot roast, you know, I just have my favorite meals, chicken curry, um, stir fry, and I just get my favorite meals and meatballs, I love meatballs too. Oh, chicken tenders, I make chicken tenders with uh, French fried onion rings and those are kind of my go-to, you know, uh, grilled chicken, I have like a little chicken, a little George Foreman grill, it's just really awesome and amazing. Hamburgers, you know, hamburgers are grass-fed hamburger completely within diet, you make homemade meatloaf. There's so much that you can make. So I just have my favorite meals. I make them on a Sunday and then I supplement them with like some salmon that's real easy peasy. And then maybe like go out on a Friday for like, you know, special treat or favorite little hole in the wall here in Hendersonville, Tennessee and just like get a burger and salad and such. But we will be going into more details, but you want to click on to that next video that's gonna tell you how intermittent fasting changed my life.